What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we are doing an Oscar edition of The Educated Barfly. It's the 91st um, Oscars and I got some surprises up my sleeve but I thought it'd be really nice to do a cocktail for you guys to watch while you're watching the award show. Um, and also, since we're not going to be invited, I'm not invited, I'm, I'm assuming you're not invited. I mean, unless that really was Robert De Niro that subbed our channel all the year, those, like a couple of months ago, there's a guy with the screen name Robert De Niro. If that's Robert De Niro, maybe he's going to the Oscars. But I have this kind of cool thing. So I, I obtained this from Wolfgang Puck. And what it is, is a figurine. So basically, if you would go to the Oscars this year, you would get this kind of box. It says Oscars here. And it says Wolfgang Puck 2019. And when you open it up, you get dun, 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 like a little Oscar chocolate that is coated in 24 karat gold, like edible gold, gold leaf, I guess. Um, it says Wolfgang Puck on it. So for those of you that know, or maybe they, you know or you don't know, uh, Wolfgang Puck does the uh, something with the Oscars almost every year. For a lot of years, he had the after party. I think he might still do the after party at Spago, even though Spago moved in that time. And um, he does the food a lot of the times, but he's intimately involved with the Oscars. And so he made this little figurine. So if you were going to go to the awards, you would get this little figurine. I just thought it was pretty cool. Now I'm going to put it away so it doesn't get ruined. Okay, cool. Just keep that there. All right, let's get into the cocktail. So the very first thing we are going to do is three-eighths of an ounce of lemon, oh, sorry, of lime juice. And then three-eighths of an ounce of lemon juice. Then we're going to do one quarter ounce of simple syrup. We're going to do a pinch of cinnamon, but I want to make sure that you guys uh, actually grate some Ceylon cinnamon or get some grated Ceylon cinnamon, uh, which is a much better cinnamon profile than let's say cassia bark would be. And then um, we're going to do one ounce of Campari. And one ounce Cokey Americano. Just another white wine aperitif. Just figured, you know, we're kind of doing a spritz style cocktail and all, you know, I think that A, the, in, the Italians have been intimately involved with the Academy over the years and having a spritz at the Oscars just seems like it goes hand in hand, doesn't it? So we're going to take our, I guess our ice, we're going to throw it into our tin and we're just going to add our cocktail and shake. Nice. And I'm using gold, gold barware because of the, you know, because Oscars, that's why. Uh, okay, cool. Let's move this here. Let's move this here. I'm using these so I don't break the glass. I'm just gonna place some ice down in there. Ah! Damn you. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do it with my hand. It's like using chopsticks on ice. It's difficult. And I'm done. Cool, we're gonna place some ice carefully in the glass because I do not want to break it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of soda water and we're going to add a little bit of Prosecco. I don't know if you can tell there is an Italian theme to this drink. I'm going to add just a little bit of Prosecco. And then we're going to double strain our drink. And the reason why I did that is to A, kind of get the fizz going in the drink, but also because the liqueurs are a little bit denser than the Prosecco is gonna be, so, and the soda, so you don't want the liqueur to sit underneath and then the Prosecco and soda to layer on top because that would um, mean that you'd have to stir your drink and you don't wanna do that. So you add just a little bit and a little bit, and we're just gonna add a little bit more soda, a little bit more Prosecco, And then we're just going to garnish with this nice, I'm going to kind of stick that in there. It's just like a nice orange dehydrated 
I just want to float it down in there. And there you have it, my friends. The, oh, I forgot to tell you the name of this cocktail. The name of this cocktail is Life is Beautiful. And I chose that because it is a fully Italian drink. That is an Italian movie by Robert Benigni that won the Oscar um, for Best Picture. Um, I can't remember the year, but it was like early 2000s. Anyway, there you have it. The Life is Beautiful. Enjoy the Oscars, guys. And I hope all of your choices, I hope you win all your choices if you guys are doing that fantasy Oscar thing. Let's taste this cocktail. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah. So here's the thing. I don't want you people who don't like Campari to be afraid of this cocktail. I, we chose Prosecco not just because it's Italian sparkling wine, but also because it's a little sweeter and a little less dry than like Brut Champagne would be. Um, this drink is like, you do feel the bitterness from the Campari. And then although this, uh, the Cocchi Americano like adds a nice sweetness, but then all of that is offset by that pinch of cinnamon and simple syrup. And the other thing that you could do, honestly, is you could make a cinnamon simple syrup as opposed to just doing a pinch of cinnamon like I did. Uh, we could, you could actually just make a cinnamon simple syrup and just use quarter of an ounce of that. Um, but this is a lot more approachable, I think, than some of you, some of you might just say like, oh, I don't like Campari, it's too bitter. But this is a lot more approachable. Um, all right, guys, well, that does it for our Oscar edition of the Educated Barfly. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please try this drink. It is called The Life is Beautiful, and I chose that name because it is named after the Roberto Benini Oscar winner, Life is Beautiful. Uh, and since this is a fully Italian cocktail, and since Robert, Roberto Benini is a fully Italian man, I thought that would be a great name for this. Uh, if you like our show, please hit like and subscribe. And if you want to check us out on Patreon, go to patreon.com backslash the educated barfly. And if you want to and feel inclined or you're just surfing around on Instagram, check out Barfly Mixology Gear, which is our tool sponsor. And while you're there, hit follow. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.